the rookies are going to be the rookies going through camp for the first time. But I think every veteran that's here now is, you know, knows what to expect a little bit more. It's so awesome, Rick. I remember coming here last year, or two years ago, first time, never seen it before. It's a, a great rink, um, good history of hockey up here in Duluth. When you're the dad of the top two scorers in the history of Minnesota high school basketball, rebounding can be an easy gig. Just uh, since they were probably fourth, fifth grade, we've been in the driveway, in the backyard, anywhere we could find a court, this is what we did. From the driveway to the gym floor, the Bromans and basketball go hand in hand. At two years apart, these brothers combined for over 9,000 points in high school. I always thought um, once high school was done that that was our last, last time playing together, our last couple games. As the state's all-time leading scorer, Anders went to play Division I at South Dakota State. After two seasons as a jackrabbit, a change of scenery became necessary. Meanwhile, his younger brother also committed to going Division I. We talked about him transferring. Um, I threw out Winthrop kind of jokingly, but at the same time, a little bit serious. Bjorn kind of threw the idea out there a little bit, and then their coaches contacted me and it just fell in place from there. It's been over two years since these brothers have played on the same team. And now a package deal, heading to Winthrop University in South Carolina. Well, that means mom and dad just get to travel to one spot instead of two, so it'll definitely make things simpler for us. The games of one-on-one -on -one may never go away. Good deal. But the teamwork and just being brothers is back for the better. Things happen quickly. And you know, it's you don't want to look back with any regrets. You want to give it your all and let the chips fall where they do. In Duluth, for Eyewitness Sports, I'm Alec Osmus. Heat, humidity, and football. Sounds like training camp for the Minnesota Vikings as they spend another preseason in Mankato. There is no pressure, but high expectations for this Vikings team as they should have what they need to win. The return of Adrian Peterson is always a topic of conversation, but in the wings taking handoffs is Jarek McKinnon and Matt Asiata, both split time filling the void for Peterson a year ago, and now it's still about staying fresh, even behind the 2012 MVP. The running back group is uh, solid right now. Everybody's getting along. We're helping each other, you know, with the plays, especially when Adrian's in there. You know, we're trying to help him too, even though he doesn't need help, but, you know, we're there for him um, having his back. So I don't, I don't know that I really look at his position battle. I just look at it. We got some pretty good guys in there. With Matt Castle now in Buffalo, Bridgewater has taken the most snaps as a Viking. But his backup is 35 year old Sean Hill. With 13 seasons in the league, Hill has the most experience on the roster. Knowledge aged with experience getting passed on to Teddy and the receivers can see the growth in their young quarterback. I think he's coming in and he knows this is his team and uh, he's, even at a young age, he knows he's got to step up and be that, that figure, that role model, that, that guy on our team. Offensive coordinator Norv Turner says Bridgewater is a top flight quarterback in the league as Vikings fans hope to see that deep ball in the offense once again. At Vikings training camp for Eyewitness Sports, I'm Alec Osmus.